Hello everybody, welcome back to today's video. We're gonna be trying some TikTok viral snacks. As requested by all y'all, you really wanted to see some more viral recipes and to see if we liked them or not. We're trying these so you don't have to. And we're gonna be completely honest with you. And we're doing some weird ones. We're doing some weird ones, I think. But we're gonna do this, every one of us, are going to do this just for y'all, the boys and Dusty and me. The first one we're going to do, cheese and pickles. So, they do, I think these are keto fried pickles. They use cheese and pickles, no crust. I got my favorite pickles because I'm not real big on pickles. I don't love pickles, but I do like the refrigerated pickles like Clausen and Grillo. So I made sure to get a flavor that I like so I can tell you my 100% honest feelings about this. Let's do it. Let's go ahead and do it. Since I have the pickles out, there's another one that we're going to do with pickles. Bacon, pickles. So I'm going to prepare both of these since I got the pickles out. So let's get it going. The first thing we're going to do Let's put some cheddar cheese in the bottom of the skillet. And we're going to melt this and then put the pickle on it. That easy. Cheese is starting to melt. I'm drying off my pickle. I'm going to set it here in the middle. Okay. There we go. And just roll it over in itself like so. And I reckon it's done. It's like a keto fried pickle. Let's take a quick look at the keto fried pickle. Okay, I'm getting the bacon ready. I'm not making a ton of these because I don't know if they're good or not. So I'm just getting that one. Floss of bacon. I'm gonna cut it in half. First off, I'm gonna dry the pickle with a paper towel. It said they had to be dry. Start rolling up the pickles in the bacon. And you cook these, I'm mm, 375, I think is what it said until the bacon is crispy. I'm just making cake. I cut it up into bite sized pieces. That's what it looks like. Doesn't look bad, but. Mm. Keto fried pickles are fried in fried cheese. People dip them in ranch too, but we're just gonna try the pickle and cheese. Okay. No. That was bad. Cheese is good. The pickles good. Not together. It's not natural. I made sure to get the good pickles too. Maybe mm. Braden will like it. Let's get Braden in here. Bray. Okay, this is supposed to be amazing. It's a pickle wrapped in fried cheese. It's supposed to be like a keto fried pickle. Should we dip it in ranch? <laughs> Did it like that at first? Mmm. Of course. He's a foodie. He appreciates all flavors. Ryder's not trying it because he started gagging at the smell of a pickle. Anyways. Pass on that one. Ugh. Here is the pickle and bacon. It kind of didn't Stay together, the bacon fell apart. It's it's okay. Here is your bacon pickle. No, it looks really good. Mm. 
You know what? I'm gonna try. I don't trust Braden because he liked that pickle with cheddar cheese, and I didn't. Um, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna see for myself. I think it tastes pretty good. Why is it good though? It's really good. I would eat that for just a snack. It's really salty though. It's very salty, but it's really good. Oh, father would love that. It's cool. Oh, I'm not a salt person. It's good, but it's so salty. I would definitely have to get like a low sodium bacon and a low sodium pickle. In my opinion, this one is good. The bacon wrapped around a pickle and then cooked until the bacon is done. That's pretty good. Very salty. Very salty. If you are very sensitive to salt like me, whew. You're gonna love it because it's so salty. Just eat the. Why do I have a whole pickle? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> the bacon shrunk. Oh. Wait, there's some of it stuck to. Is that part of the cheeseburger? Do you like it? Mm, yeah. If I made those for like a snack, would you eat it? I'd rather have a pickle cold though. Would cook bacon? Yeah. I don't know, Emma, it's good with a hot pickle. Hot pickles are just weird. I agree. You don't think it's super salty? I knew it wouldn't. I knew it. <laughs> I don't like a lot of salt. He loves salt. That one, it, it's good. good. That one is really good, in my opinion. Ryder's not trying it because he hates pickles and he'll gag. Colin isn't trying it because he hates pickles and he'll gag. But the pickle lovers in the family, we have tried this and it's pretty okay. It's a lot better than that cheese one. Now the next TikTok viral snack is one we probably all heard of. And you can make it a bunch of different ways. And I went the and I went with the ingredients that were available. <laughs> so y'all have heard of the Tiffany plate, the cottage cheese and mustard lady. I know. I know. So what she does, she's lost a lot of weight doing this too. And she says it's delicious. And I think she has a lot of medical issues where she can't eat a lot of certain things. So like this is the best way she can eat. She uses chicken apple sausage. She air fries these in the air fryer. So we're going to do that. She pairs it up with almost always cauliflower, carrots, and broccoli. So we got that. Hearts of Palm is so hard to find because this Tiffany plate is so popular. I have looked everywhere. I've wanted to do this video for a while, but I can never find Hearts of Palm. I can never find it. And I went to two stores today before I found it, but I didn't find the brand that is supposed to be the best. I only found the Walmart Hearts of Palm. So we're gonna do Hearts of Palm. I've never had this before. I'm kind of scared. It's okay. She pairs this up with usually dragon fruit slices pineapple she does donut peaches and plums i think but those were nowhere to be found it is winter time and she does it with pickled okra mm. brie cheese she does these little single brie cheeses that kind of look like uh Baby Bell cheeses, I could not find anything like that. This is the best I could do. I got this at Walmart for around $2.97. And she pairs this all with cottage cheese and mustard. We're gonna do this. We're gonna see if it's good and all of us are gonna try it. Okay, got my air fryer here. Okay, I'm just gonna throw all them apple I'm just throwing all those chicken apple sausages in here. We'll do 375 for 10 minutes. While those chicken apple sausages are cooking, we're going to assemble our Tiffany plates. I'm going to go wash my dragon fruit. Be right back. She cuts her dragon fruit like this. So I'm going to put that there. I could not find any actual whole pineapples. I almost never buy pre-cut, but this is all they had. I'm going to put a couple pieces of pineapple here. 
I love okra, but I have never had a pickle okra in my life. I'm a little bit scared. I'm gonna <laughs> make sure to pat it dry so it doesn't get all over everything else. Time for the hearts of palm. This is weird. Oh, it looks like wood. Okay. It stays sold out, so it must be good. I'm gonna get two of these out and dry them off. It looks like string cheese. It really does, it looks like string cheese. I'm doing double what she does because all of us are gonna try it. I wanna do some broccoli, some cauliflower. Carrots. It was cheaper to buy this pre-packaged cut of veggies and to get it all separately. So that's what I did. Okay, the brie cheese. She like gets these little discs of brie cheese like this. I figured, I don't know. I really don't know. Everybody a chunk. There we go. Everybody gets a chunk of brie. I have decided just to make everybody their own Tiffany plate. Because I can't fit four sausages on there. And everybody might love it. So everybody's getting their own Tiffany plate. Not ten minutes. <laughs> Only go six minutes. <laughs> Everybody has a Tiffany plate, but there's a little sample of everything. Kyle, there was only four of those chicken sausages in the pack, so I mean, Kyle and half one. But here is a Tiffany plate that we're having today. This is common things that she puts in her little Tiffany plates. We have brie cheese, pineapple, dragon fruit, chicken apple sausage, cauliflower, broccoli, um, a carrot, pickled okra, hearts of palm. Now, all of this comes together with a little bit of cottage cheese and mustard. This is, I just don't know how I feel about it. Everybody seems to love it. And I'm not going to put everybody's cottage cheese and mustard on their plate because it might they might not like it. So, I'm going to make little individual bowls with it in there. I'm just going to have two bowls that everybody can share because I just don't know how everybody's going to feel about it. So, we're going to do... The cottage cheese. I think she likes a specific brand of cottage cheese, but I have to work with what I have available. Okay, there's that. And mustard. Bone apple teeth. Let's do it. <laughs> you have hearts of palm. That is not string cheese. It is hearts of palm. Okra. <laughs> Apple chicken sausage, broccoli, cauliflower, carrot, brie cheese, pineapple, and dragon fruit. And now this lady, she dips it all in her cottage cheese and mustard. Oh, I hate mustard. You don't have to eat the mustard since you don't like mustard. Like all of it, even the uh, fruits? She doesn't dip the fruits in the mustard. Well, the pineapple will go good with the cottage cheese. I think she might dip the fruit in the cottage cheese. If it's not gonna, She might do it. I don't know. I just know you do what your heart tells you to do when it comes to the mustard and cottage cheese. Just pick something up and eat it. Let's the hearts of Hello, everybody. So, I'm going to start this little thing. I have my chicken apple sausage and my cottage cheese and mustard. And it's hot. Um, Be right back with my chicken apple sausage because it's hot. So, we're going to do. Color, this is the really good stuff. 
I'm going to try the broccoli and cottage cheese. And mustard. That's good. Cottage cheese and chicken apple sausage. Oh, mustard. You're supposed to do both of them. Negative. You know what? Are. Okay, I'm here we go. What did you do? I did both of them. You did both of them? Was it okay? I can't the even tell if you said cottage cheese. Yeah. And the aftertaste is just cottage cheese and sausage. Is that weird or not? I mean, it's not bad. Brie cheese, Brayden. Brie <laughs> cheese. You don't dip it in nothing. You just eat the brie cheese. Oh. Doesn't really have a taste. They say brie cheese is good with fruit, but this woman, she just eats the brie cheese. What are you eating? Just brie cheese. Is it good? It just tastes like cheese. It's like normal cheese. Normal cheese. Okay, Kyle, I need to try something. Okay, try your apple sausage. Apple sausage. I've, I've been eating this. How sweet. I would eat the carrot and I've been eating oh. this. The outside not good. I don't think you're supposed to eat the outside. I think that's mold. No, you're supposed to eat that. <laughs> what don't you like? What is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Woo. That was really able to so Dusty doesn't like that okra. <laughs> I haven't tried it yet. Oh, okra, that's one of these. I got okay, so, so I'm trying this. I got so discombobulated, I forgot what it was called. <laughs> this is actually really good. Is? It's, no, it's good. The chicken apple sausage dipped in that is really good. <laughs> I almost dropped. I can handle that. The broccoli dipped in it was really good, too. Let me try the what? carrot. Both of these. I, I mean, that's good, too. It's not bad. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know about this hearts of bomb. It tastes like something I've had before. But what is it? It, it has the texture of the... Uh, what's that stuff we had in Nevada? Sugar cane. Sugar cane. It's the texture of sugar cane. It's red. How do we feel about it? I don't know. Roger? Red mustard? I don't know, maybe. Tastes like olives. Is that where I have tasted oh, something? Tastes like olives. I thought yeah, I had yeah. tasted something like that before. Ryder, have you tried your chicken apple sausage yet? Yeah. That stuff's good. That this stuff's good. really good. This is good too. Can I have that? You just have to dip it in mustard. It, it's even better. <laughs> but tastes like, like a really one. Why is it so. I the the, te the texture is throwing me off really bad. With the, the texture taste. is very off putting. It's like that sugar cane. No, that sugar it's, cane that was That sugar lot. cane was very stringy, but that is like softened sugar Why cane. Why is it so soft? See, I, if it wasn't that soft, the whole inside, is, the outside is good. It's more firm and it tastes like an olive. And olives are good with cottage cheese and mustard. Uh oh. Oh, yeah. The outside's really good. Yeah. yeah I, I think it's pretty good. It tastes like an olive. Yeah. You eat the okra. Yeah. He liked it. It was okay. You can have it. Try it, Ryder. I just seen him about that. <laughs> <laughs> You're making a happy plate. <laughs> Colin's actually eating. Brayden, how do you feel about a Tiffany plate? It's okay. It's okay. Ryder. I don't know what Tiffany's thinking, but it's not very good. Colin, how do you feel about a Tiffany plate? It's based on sound. Daddy. Tiffany is Ifany. <laughs> the sausage was good. The hearts of palm, the outside was good. Dragon fruit's just dragon fruit, but it's not good dipped. It's only good by itself. You're not supposed to dip the fruit. <laughs> well, that makes sense. <laughs> I, I did. <laughs> <laughs> you did it. <laughs> he did it too. <laughs> it was not so. It was not good there. <laughs> I did it because I seen him do it. <laughs> you. <laughs> but I mean, the sausage was really great with everything, but. And the fruit, the vegetables, that's a no-go on dipping anything. It's it by themselves. <laughs> this is my final thoughts of the Tiffany plate. 
sausage, chicken apple sausage with the cottage cheese and mustard was fantastic. The broccoli, carrots, and cauliflower, it was okay with it. I would rather eat it with ranch. Um, I'm not a fan of hearts of palm. But in my defense, I don't really like olives. So, the brie was good, especially with the pineapple. Oh, yeah, and I don't perfect. know what's up. This has no flavor. It's like I'm eating frozen water, which is ice. Why do I call it frozen water? Wow. They had no flavor. I think it wants to be a kiwi, but it's not. That's weird. And this isn't as bad as Dusty says. It just tastes yes, very it, pickly. No, and if you like cool. okra, you'll like it. You don't like okra very much. Well, he eats okra, but he's not like, oh, give me some okra. So, it's okay. All righty, y'all. The next one is twisty bacon. Apparently, twisty bacon is the crispiest bacon, and it's the best bacon. And we're going to do some twisty bacon. Let's go. The first thing I'm going to do is preheat the oven to 400 degrees. Here we go. So, line a baking sheet with some aluminum foil. We're just going to twist the bacon. That's, that's what it said to do. Just twist it. That's, that's all they did. They twisted the bacon. Like this is supposed to be a good keto snack. Like just grab a twisted bacon and snack on it. All right, here's my last piece. We're gonna cook this on 400 for 40 minutes. It's a long time, but that's what it said. So here is the deal with the twisty bacon. They said 40 minutes. It's only been 30. And I trusted the timer. I trusted them. I trusted what they would say. So I started doing other things around the house. 30 minutes, I was like, that smells very done. It is. It's very much done. So this one was a fail. What mean, is it bad? No to self. Do not trust other people's time when you have a weird stove. <laughs> it's supposed to be the best, crispiest bacon. It's mega crispy. That's a great day. Made for real? <laughs> mm. I love it. Mm. You serious? Yeah, that's good. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Dusty said the bacon was good. And it's very, very done on the tip. Ah! It's hot. Looks like a dog treat. Looks like a major dog treat. Mmm. <laughs> it's good. It's good bacon. I want mine a little less done, though. But it's good bacon. I can see where this is like the most crispy type of bacon. I see that. But honestly, it looks like a dog treat. And the 40 minutes is way, way too long for this. I did 30 minutes and it was overdone. I would do 20, 20 minutes. Okay. That was the timer going off for it. Twisty bacon. Does look like a dog treat, doesn't it? Yeah, pretty good. It's a good crispy bacon. Oh, it's good crispy bacon. Yeah. Right, you wanna try? Huh? No, I mean, if you were, if this would have been, you know, like another five, ten minutes. I say twenty minutes. Yeah. I think twenty minutes would be perfect. They, honest to goodness, I will link the videos down below. They said 40 minutes. Mmm. That's good. A little overdone, though. I think it's like really good bacon. That's what your daddy said. This is must have different preferences of bacon. But yeah. Mm. Okay. Yeah, we're just doing a bunch of TikTok recipes tonight. So the next one pancake cereal. I just have pancake mix and I mix it up according to the package directions. So let's make some pancake cereal. Okay, I have my griddle out. And a lot of people use like the squirty things <laughs> to do this. 
But I don't have one. So I want to do it this way. Dots. Little dots of pancake mix. And this might take me a long time, but it's okay. You gotta work kind of fast. Uh-oh. Look at the tiny little pond cakes. Cool you think it's cool, Kaka? Mm -hmm. I've seen no one do that. It's all over TikTok. Really? Mm-hmm. I never saw it before. Um, oh, I think I'm that are done. I'm just gonna toss in here. Yeah, I'm using my hands. I feel it's kind of like a tortilla. And that's what they look like. I'm gonna go ahead and make everybody a bowl of these. I'll be right back. That was the most time consuming thing I have ever done just to get a bowl of little pancakes. Here we have everybody a bowl of little pancakes. Now you're supposed to make pancake cereal out of this. So first thing pancakes need is a little bit of butter. All right. Now we need some syrup. I've seen some people actually put milk in this. Some people did not. They just ate it like this. So we're going to do it both ways. We're going to try it first, just this way, and then we're going to put milk in it. Honestly, I don't know if I'll ever do it again, even if it's the most magnificent thing ever. It took absolutely forever, and it's so hot in here now. I just don't know how to feel about that. All right. I'll go first with my little mini pancakes, and I'm doing it with just the butter and the syrup first because I've seen people do it both ways, butter and syrup, and then the syrup and all that with milk, like cereal. Okay. Totally just a pancake. A pancake that I could have took five minutes to cook instead of 20. <laughs> now, here we go. We have that milk in there. See, we have the milk in there now. We're gonna eat it like cereal. All right. I said a few minutes ago that I don't care how good it was, I wouldn't ever do it again because it took so long. That's a lie. It's the like cereal. Is there syrup in there? Mm-hmm. Oh. And butter. I mean, yeah. It's like pancakes with milk. Pretty good. <laughs> Here we go, it is homemade pancake cereal. That's okay. I like that. Yeah, it was. It took me 25 minutes to make five bowls. Mm. <laughs> yeah. A little counterproductive, huh? No, I liked it. Okay, Bray, we got pancake cereal. I feel like you're gonna love it. You love some pancakes. Mm. I did them. That's good. I thought it was amazing. Mm. Tastes pretty good. <laughs> I thought so. You love pancakes. Okay, little Colin. How do we feel about the homemade cereal? Pancake cereal. I don't know. Let's find out. <laughs> All right. It looks 
it just tastes like pink and milk. Is it good though? Yeah, it's good. Well, he didn't pass out on that. All right, so we're going to do the last viral TikTok snack. Two different brands, but this is what I have. So we're going to do the No Drain Mac and Cheese. A fourth a cup of milk per box of mac and cheese. I'm using two boxes, so I have a half cup of milk. Y'all, this is so odd. I feel so wrong doing this. But it says to add the seasoning packets, the cheese powder, in now. So, two cups of water for two boxes. We go ahead and add the butter it calls for as well. Y'all, that just felt so wrong, mixing it like that. Oh, goodness. So, now we're going to we're gonna heat this up. Keep a stir on it and it's supposed to cook good together and be the perfect mac and cheese it says no draining required we'll see y'all we'll see it started simmering it's getting thicker I'm afraid to stop stirring it. I'm afraid it's going to start sticking or something. I feel like this needs more water. Because that's very dry. I'm going to put more water in this. It said a cup per box. I'm just not feeling that. Okay, I'm putting in one more cup of water. Because I just don't feel like that's going to get those noodles done. Okay, I used hot water, so it should start simmering again. Okay, starting to get thick again. And the noodles are actually almost cooked. So the one cup per box definitely is a no-go. One and a half cups of water per box. Okay, we're almost done, I feel. We'll let it go for maybe three, three to five more minutes. And we'll see how it is. Hmm. It looks like, it looks like mac and cheese. See? It looks just like regular old mac and cheese. Everybody who tries this that I've seen are like, I'm never going to make my mac and cheese any other way. This is the best way. Less dirty dishes and it tastes so much better. We'll see. It's really hot, so I'll be back in just a second. It tastes exactly the same. <laughs> this is that no drain. So much better mac and cheese. Tastes the same to me. It does. Tastes the same. I mean, less dirty dishes, so I'll take that, I guess. Tastes and we don't same. waste water. I mean, yeah. Okay. So, this way, I mean, it tastes exactly the same. There's nothing special about it. Tastes exactly the same, but you don't waste water and you have less dirty dishes. So, I guess this is a better way to make it. Okay, we tried six viral TikTok recipes, snacks, and for the most part, it was okay. Some were a no-go. I hope you guys loved this video. I hope you guys like me doing these little viral recipes, and I'm testing them out just to see if they're worth it or not. Most of these, I guess they wasn't worth it. Now that I'm thinking about it. Bummer, but it's okay. This is real life. I tried them out so you don't have to. Remember, as always, be positive and kind and happy. And don't rain on nobody's parade. Let everybody be happy too. Okay? I love you. I'll see you next video. Bye.